Hey, six. Ah. <laughs> okay, in my hands we have the Hey Designs and Asics collaboration on their seemingly brand new silhouette of a sneaker, the Skyhand OG. Now, I would say that I speak for all of us who are here watching this video that when we all first saw the ad campaign from Hey Design and Asics over on Instagram, that the first photos and videos that we saw of this collaborative sneaker really did catch our eyes. And this sneaker piqued all of our interests because this is clearly Asics's rendition and their own take on what is a low top basketball inspired sneaker that is synonymous for being around in the late 80s, early 90s. And I must say that ASICS and Hey Design have done an outstanding job with this sneaker. And as you're looking at footage of this sneaker on my foot up close in lovely and beautiful 4K quality, I must say that this sneaker definitely does it really well when it comes to that retro look. I mean, it doesn't overstay its welcome. There isn't too much going on and I definitely wouldn't say it's underwhelming by any means. And I would say that by starting with the leather panels themselves. So when you're talking about the toe guard, on the toe box to the eye stays, the mid panels, and of course the logo as well, all the way to the back heel counter and the ankle collar, as well as the tongue, it just all works really well together. And it's very interesting to see them how they haven't completely copy and pasted from other brands and what their low top basketball inspired sneaker is like, but they have definitely took it upon themselves to mix it around a little bit and make it their own, which they really have. And I think we can all appreciate that, that they've really tried to make it their own sneaker. And what I have to mention, which is the most surprising about this sneaker is the quality of the leather materials, which you can see here across the entire upper, this green leather suede has a lot of movement to it and it is a very pliable leather as well. It doesn't seem to be overly stiff when I have it on foot and to the touch it doesn't feel extremely rough, it doesn't feel cheap, it feels like a good leather and you know to couple that with a very good construction to it, it really does lean to the side of being a very high quality sneaker and to come from ASICs and again, especially this type of silhouette, it is very surprising. In a good way, <laughs> in a good way. And the next best thing that I have to mention about this sneaker is that it actually does somehow accommodate those of us with both a wide foot and a high instep, which I know seems very hard to believe because again, for these sneakers, they're very synonymous for running very narrow and to be quite constricting on the tops of our feet. But there's something to do with when we look at the sole of this sneaker. It just seems that little bit wider in the midfoot section than most of these sneakers tend to across other brands. And when I first noticed that, it was, you know, it got me excited. It was very interesting to notice. So I had high hopes. And when I first put them on my feet, I was, again, happily surprised. But of course, not as surprised this time because I had that thought in my mind and it lived up to it, which is always very good. And as I mentioned just a short while ago, that the leather materials, they're very soft, which makes them very pliable. And I think because of this, on top of the construction of the overall uppers of this sneaker, it just allows the tops of our feet, the roof of our foot, to push through the sneaker at not an uncomfortable rate, but it allows for the sneaker to be pushed a little bit further to accommodate higher insteps. And I truly did feel like it did that at a comfortable rate. You know, I didn't feel like the lacing system was overly tight. I didn't feel like the tongue was constricting or restricting my foot in any way. And I must say that the inside construction of the sneaker as well, with the foam sort of panels that are inside to add a bit of extra comfort and all of this stitching as well, it's all very nice. I don't have any complaints with it whatsoever. There wasn't any pain points, there wasn't anything annoying, rubbing or cutting into my feet. It was just a really enjoyable time to put this on my foot and again it was just very surprising. And the very last thing that I have to mention about the sneaker in particular, where you take the collaboration out of the way 
And this is where it comes down to the ankle collar, which as I'm feeling it in my hands now, and as I've had it on my feet for a little while, it definitely has a good amount of cushioning in there, which yet again is very surprising, but it's a good and happy surprise of course, because it just leans to there being extra comfort in there. And especially when you compare them to similar sneakers from other brands, it definitely can feel very lacking in the ankle collar section, especially at the back heel part. So it is very nice to report to everyone watching this video that there is some cushioning in the back heel here and you will feel comfortable at the back of this sneaker. And also there was no heel slip, <laughs> so we can all be happy about that. I really did test that out and there was no heel slip, so it's all good on that part. I, again, was expecting there to be some heel slip, but there just wasn't any. I didn't have to tighten the laces up any more than I would like to. I didn't even have to use the top eye hole, so yeah, very happy for that. And there's just not much more to say about this sneaker apart from, yeah, the underfoot comfort will be what you expect from a sneaker with such a thin outsole that doesn't have much arch support or cushioning and a lot of foam in the back heel. So expect to have the same or similar levels of comfort from other low top sneakers from other brands. But yeah, just overall with this sneaker and especially this colorway, which is very funny because if you're looking to buy this sneaker in particular, so this colorway, then you'll be very happy to know that they are still available on the ASICS website for the retail price of 115 Great British Pounds in majority of sizes, but my UK 11 size is of course sold out. That's just what happens with almost every sneaker that I go for, but, and there are two other colorways that are available in majority of sizes in the blue and the pink. So if you were watching this video and you were trying to get a gauge on whether this sneaker was worth getting for the quality that it has and the comfort that it offers, then for 115 great British pounds, I would say, you can go no further than the ASICS Skyhand OG. And yeah, <laughs> I think I'll probably wear this sneaker mostly in the spring and summer season. And definitely when I know that I'm going to be going on grass, just because it can hide the stains well, be it an all green sneaker. Simply a very well-designed sneaker from ASICS and a very tasteful collaboration from Hay Design. A surprising sneaker, I think is what we can take away from this, but one of very high quality and one that you shouldn't snub your noses at because you will be also very happily surprised if you were to pick up a pair of the Hay Design collab or any of the future GR colorways that are soon to be released from ASICS. And yeah, there you go. That is my video on this very beautiful ASICS sneaker, the Skyhand OG in collaboration with Hay. Thank you all so much for watching, as always, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. <sighs> I like the green. <laughs> this just came to mind, but this really does look like it could be a Wimbledon collaboration. Don't you think? <laughs>